Rabbity? The Rabbity who is destined to help us topple the Queen of Hearts and take us to the world of Elysium? Um, well, yes. Yes, I am the Rabbity. <gasps> It is time! Break the seal! Unleash the weapon! <clears throat> if... If I break the seal now, this entire area will be reduced to ash. Such is the almighty power of this legendary weapon. Sweet mana jamma! That's one heck of a weapon! Believer? What is your fet- I mean, um, what is your ideal type? Hmm. I'd say a person who is true to their own desires. That- that means... You like people who can honestly enjoy themselves in any situation. Wait, isn't that me? I discuss ideal types with Rapunzel. Teacher! When you were little, what did you want to be? Hmm. Well, a teacher, of course. I knew you'd say that. You're like a dependable tree that I can always lean on. Can I be a little chameleon and cling to your side? <laughs> Dina and I both think about what we want our futures to be like. It's weird. Whenever I see you around lately, my heart starts beating like crazy. Uh, I just don't know what to do. Maxwell says I should pipe down and try to be a hero without yelling. But if I don't yell, I can't unleash my full power. Don't let Maxwell browbeat you. Just keep shouting. I don't think so. I tried that a couple of times, and she said she wouldn't make me any more weapons. I've got to figure something else out. Lapis and I practice ways for her to unleash her heroic powers without making too much noise. Rabbity, the fat's in the fire! The queen is so powerful that the machines have been taken down one after another. I don't know what to do. They will be fine as long as you stay with Woodmill all the time. Okay, I will. After all, I like being with her. I have a discussion about re rescuing the machines with Alice for a while. It's only fair to take turns doing the laundry, but Neon always uses such strong detergent. How can I prevent this from happening? Well, your already short skirt will end up becoming even shorter if you don't stop her. 
I see you've been following this issue with rapt attention as well, Commander. Rappy and I talk about proper laundry methods. As always, thank you, Commander. Well, Mom, Dad, you know, my guy be screaming. He's having a rough time. Look at that. Check out the size of that doll that the lady's carrying. Hmm? Where? <gasps> what is that? That isn't a real lion, is it? I think that's woman works at the animal shelter. As far as I know, she brings that lion with her just about everywhere. If you ask me, I think it's incredibly reckless of her. Absolutely. It's far too dangerous. What if that lion were to suddenly jump out and attack us? A real lion? Wow, I've never seen a lion before. Hey miss, can I touch it? Just one time, please? Hmm? Of course. Timmy is a gentle giant. Wait. What if you get bitten? Huh? You listen to me, miss. What are you thinking, bringing a wild animal like that onto the streets? Oh, it's okay. Timmy is as gentle as can be. He never bite any. Be that as it may, he's still a wild animal, isn't he? And he eats plenty of meat, I presume? To be raising a creature like that in a place where people are barely surviving, it's absurd. <laughs> Uh, uh, honey, are you okay? <laughs> Look at it! Those fangs! They're massive! That's it! We're leaving! Alright, we're going! <sighs> Bro, our lion friend, he's not having a good time. He does not like that leaf touching his nose. Anyway... You know, we're coming in here to the Lionheart event, and so far, the music already, like, for some reason, invokes a lot of nostalgia in me. And a part of me is kicking myself, because I probably should have come into this event sooner to get the event rewards out. But, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm doing it now, because it only has six days left, and it's a good idea that I've done it now, because apparently I can only do parts of this event in a limited time anyway which really blows. So, yeah, it's a good thing I'm doing that. And they were leaving me to fight the train again. How many times am I gonna have to fight this damn train? Because you know I have to fight this train in the story mode still. Let's anyway, my PS5 is apparently coming back in like five days or so, so it's a good I'm thing for me to get this event have. knocked out of the way because once I get my PS5 back, I might not be playing so much new game anymore, if at all. Oh, 
Allergic Fire! Late at night, I was changing into comfortable clothes and getting ready to sleep when... Hmm? Zookeeper? Sorry, I know it's late. Were you sleeping? Not just yet. Come on in. Oh gosh. You clearly were getting ready for bed. I'm so sorry. I just didn't know who else to turn to. It's okay. What's the matter? Well, the shelter has closed down temporarily. This is all so sudden. What happened? This happens every once in a while. People get edgy about us sheltering some certain wild animals. I also take Timmy for walks around the city. So the shelter has been getting quite an influx of complaints. Hence the temporary closure. What happens to the animals then? We can't let them out in the wild. So they stay safe in their cages. It'll be fine. The shelter usually reopens in a day or two. Yes, I took a picture. It's for thumbnails. Don't go getting like I'm getting any crazy ideas. What a pain. How are you holding up? Me? I'm okay. I've come to expect this sort of thing, so you can't get too torn up about it. The fact this happens regularly is precisely what worries me. Hmm. Honestly, I'm fine. I'm more worried about our animal friends. Understandable. So, what is it that you wanted to tell me? Hmm. Since the shelter has closed its doors, I'm thinking of having all of us go to on holiday tomorrow. Nero and Biscuit haven't had a day off since the shelter was first opened. 
we got an official announcement from the central government recommending that we take some time off. Hmm, that's nice. I thought so too. But we're not like other businesses. For us, it's not as simple as closing shop and forgetting about it. Someone has to take care of the animals while we're off on vacation. Right. Do you know anyone who would be able to help us out? All the animals are safe and sound in their individual rooms, so all the things that they have to do is make sure to stick to the feeding schedule. There are safety locks on the doors, so you don't have to worry about any escape attempts. It should be someone who doesn't have allergies or is afraid of bigger animals. A person who has a real love of animals and can have a good time being in their company. We've had some incidents in the past where people got bored and end up playing around on their phone a majority of the time. Fourth wall breaking? And also... Hmm. Oh, am I being too stringent? I guess it'd be tough to find someone with all those qualifications, huh? Wait, that's it! As I rack my brain attempting to find someone who can check all these boxes dictated by Leona. Someone finally pops into my mind. Although she doesn't have much experience with animals, I feel I could trust her with all this task. I'm not sure if she'll do it or not, but I thought of someone who I can ask. Wow, really? I knew you'd be able to help. I'll get in touch with her and let you know. What do you need us at the shelter? Tomorrow? Hmm, you're coming too? I mean, it'd be nice to have you there, but I wouldn't want to take up too much of your time. Actually, uh, come to think of it, I'm taking up your time right now, aren't I? I'll get out of your hair. Just let whoever you're contacting know that there's no pressure. If she's not up to it, that's fine. Good night. Good night. It's definitely on short notice. And it's off we wait. But I'm sure she's awake. I'll give it a shot and send her a message. Hey, Guillotine, are you sleeping? Partner, are you not aware? The night is the realm of Guillotine Den Mephisito. In these twilight hours, I neither sleep nor slumber. Now speck. Speak. Sorry for the typo, I just woke up. Uh, I mean, that was sent by an alternate version of me. Pay it no mind. Anyway, what is it? Are you busy tomorrow? Tomorrow, as with any other day in accordance with the covenant, I will seek out the agents behind the curse with which ravages this world. Uh, yeah, if you're not too busy, can you help me? Hmm. I can never turn down a request from you. What is it which you require assistance with? Would you like to meet the king of the jungle? <gasps> Did you receive an invitation from him? You are truly worthy of treading down the same path as I, partner. The king of the jungle. I should prepare a suitable outfit. Thank you for bringing this opportunity my way. Okay, I'll meet you in front of the shelter tomorrow. Okay, let us make sure that we converge on the same time. Hmm. Tomorrow is shaping up to be another busy day. I quickly head to bed and try to sleep. Enemy sighted! Sorry, please wait a minute. It's early in the morning. Feeling that I should arrive before guillotine, I move quickly. 
Having Guillotine first meet Happy Zoo without me to mediate would be a recipe for disaster. <laughs> Morning, Zookeeper. Oh, you're here awfully early. Whoa, you're sweating up a storm, trainer. Are you okay? <sighs> Is a uh, guillotine here? Guillotine? Is that who's supposed to be helping us today? She hasn't arrived yet. This guillotine. She volunteered to help us out? I feel bad asking such a big favor of someone on such short notice. She's happy to help. Well, that's good. Hmm. I understand that she is enthusiastic to assist, but I cannot leave the shelter to just anyone. Tell me more about her. It might be better if you just see her for yourself. Meow. <laughs> that must be her. Attention, everyone! I'm Guillotine Dev Mavisito. I have come here by the summoners of the King of the Jungle. Mm. Uh. Meow? Ah, uh. uh, yes, the aura of grandeur, the pure white mane. You must be the king of the jungle. Um. Guillotine slowly approaches Leon. Leon, I intend. Ingenual facts and a sign of respect. I, Guillotine, humbly ask you what appellation shall I refer to you as? Um. This here is Timmy. Timmy de Vista. A remarkable name. Truly. Dang, she put a cool spit on it. Totally. What a warm welcome. It is an honor. Wait a minute, do you understand what Timmy is saying? Normally, I would not reveal this. But since you appear to be Timmy de la Vista's trusted aide, I will make an exception. Aid? Timmy and I share the same fate. Individuals such as us tend to communicate on a different wavelength. Therefore, it is possible for us to converse without any of the typical language restraints. So, can you communicate with the other animals too? Of course. This body is... Perfect! Then we'll be leaving the shelter in your good hands. Now. Scoop spoke highly of you, so you can't be all that bad. And I think Timmy is fond of you. That's good. What did you say your name was? Guillotine? Guillotine de Mephisito. But given your prestigious position as Timmy's de Vista's aid, I will permit you and only you to call me by Guillotine. Okay, Guillotine. Then I'll leave this important task to you. All of us have been acting as Timmy's aides for over a century now. Hmm? So today we decided to take a day off. I see. A vacation that has been long deserved. Very much so. We were hoping to leave Timmy and the rest of the shelter under your care. Are you sure I'm the right person? Not only are you the right person, Guillotine, you're the only person meant to handle this assignment. We need you. Uh, I understand. I will see to it that this place is safeguarded thoroughly and kept from the Big O's prime eyes. Thank you. Here, let me show you where the food is. Huh. How is she able to interact with Guillotine so seamlessly? If I were to guess, I'd say it's because she's treating her like one of the animals under her care. 
There's a real ironclad pecking order between the animals, so you've got to be careful with how you talk to each of them. This is the first time I've heard her use that specific tone. At any rate, it seems that Leona has the situation under control. Yeah. Leona is amazing. A moment later. Alright, I've filled Guillotine in about what needs to be done. What do you say we go and enjoy ourselves? Sounds good. My only question is... What exactly do we have planned? Uh... Um... Uh... Let's go have some dessert now! 